everyone welcome back to 21 days of coding challenge al programming boot camp we are in day 13 that is build and functions in al programming we will understand what is a built in function what are the types of built in function and i'll be creating a simple example to show you like how built in functions will work so built in functions in al are predefined functions provided by the language that perform a variety of tasks so we already understood about what are the types of data we have data types right like string which is we will be declaring it as text okay text and if it is a number we will be declaring it as an integer likewise we have various uh, types of data and probably in most of the cases we have to perform some operations on these types of data right so in order to perform these data these or uh, uh, tasks or operation al programming has already given us some predefined or built in functions so built in functions are predefined which has which is already created and which has its own meaning and which has its own uh, functionality to use with so these built in functions we can use it and there are various types of functions which we have built in functions which we have so the first type is what interaction methods okay so functions methods um uh, procedures are interchangeably used okay so uh, we have various types of as i told we have various types of uh, built in functions the first one like we have interaction method so because you may want to interact with the customers you may want to interact with the user at a certain moment you can ask the user for confirmation provide some extra information or let users make a choice so for this we have a uh, various method called message which we have already discussed we have confirm we have str menu okay and we have error message so we have already discussed about this message function and error function and we have confirm and str menu which i have discussed in my playlist so i'll be showing you where you can learn it okay and the second type of function second type of built-in function is a string function so if you want to perform some action on the uh, uh, strings okay so you will be using what you will be using a string function so string function like for example uh, if your name okay your name may be a string so what are the types of string functions you want to find out for example you may want to find the length of the string okay you may want to find the uh, low, if you may want to uh, convert the case of the string like lower case you may want to convert the case like upper case okay and uh, there are various other operation like str post uh, like position if you want to find the position of the string if you want to find the if you want to replace the string okay so there are various other functional uh, functions which are specifically related to the strings and we have date functions so if you want to perform some specific actions for dates then you can create a you, then you can make use of the date functions so frequently used date functions are date to dmy okay date month uh, year and we have date uh, to dwy okay and we have calc date so if you want to calculate the date you can use so these functions are often used uh, whenever we are dealing with the date okay and then next we have a uh, number functions so if you want to specifically work with the numbers for example if you want to round the values of the number okay if you want to find the absolute value of the number if you want the power of uh, find the power of the number if you want to find the random values if you want to randomize the number so for all these things we have what number functions okay so other than that we have array functions okay array functions like array length if you want to find the array length if you want to compress the array okay so you can compress array and there are various like array functions if you want to copy the array we can use it so these are all the default functions we'll be using it and the other types of functions are list functions we have if, if so we have already discussed about lists right list and uh, dictionary uh, in day 9 so if you want to do some actions on the list so you have add add function uh, contains function uh, then get function set function insert for specifically for uh, list okay remove um, remove at specifically if you want to remove something okay 
uh, and we have count there are various other thing as well count add range find index of if you want to find the index of the function reverse and there are more so these are all the uh, list functions we have in al for al programming if we have few more list functions as well okay and we have system functions specifically for system okay if you want to find the user id okay you can use a system function if you want to find the company name uh you can use the default function if you want to get the today's date if you want to get the current time if you want to get the work date so these are all the functions which we have and then we have variable functions which which probably works directly with the variable okay so variable functions like clear clear all so we will be discussing about this in the other methods and we have evaluate i think now it is deprecated i am not uh, like because evaluate format we have which is specifically for what this specifically for the variables okay so there are very these are all the built in functions which we have specifically in uh, al programming arithmetic uh, sorry <laughs> application language programming so these are all the various types so we will first understand about the basic um, that is i'll show you with a simple example like how you can utilize this uh, built in functions so that you can easily understand uh, where it is exactly used and then i will execute the same okay so i'm going to create a page okay called if i i have to give the page id and i'll be creating my uh, page id as uh, data check uh, uh, no built in functions okay so this is my uh, table name uh, sorry page name i don't want any source table because i'm going to directly write the thing so here i'm just going to create uh, my thing as a input value okay so input value is what i'm going to create a variable here as input value where i'm going to get the int string value okay so text and i'll be giving some value here as uh, probably uh, 50 okay i'm just giving the uh, value as 50 here and you have to end with a semicolon so now what i'm going to check is what what is the case scenario for this is what if i enter no let it be like uh, okay if i enter a uh, value let it be 1 okay 1 if i enter a number it should tell me that this is a number if i enter a special character that should tell me that this is a special character and yeah the scenario is what we are going to when a user enters a value uh it has to validate and it has to tell me that whether it is a number or a, a integer or a string okay that is what we are going to not a special character that is what we are going to create it now okay so in the field i am going to make it as input input field input value okay and uh, okay let it be application area is equal to all caption i am just going to create a, another caption here that is what enter any value okay enter any uh, okay value let it be okay and here i'm going to create a t trigger on validate okay so it has to, it will validate my data and in that inside that i'm going to create a local uh, variable like number integer okay because i have to tell is number and i'm just making it a boolean like yes or no okay so i'm just going to create with begin so it has to it is going to check for the number okay if is number if is number then what it, it will be like uh, type in message uh, the entered entered uh, value is a number is a number okay else yes it has to check for what the uh, thing right like a integer uh, sorry uh, alphabets or something okay so either i can check like this uh, or else i can uh, uh, go with like what i can create okay i'll just create if s t r l e n okay s this is a this is a built in function okay built in function which will check for the uh, text which will work only in the text okay if input value is equal to 1 then okay i'm just again trying to check 
uh, uh, if input value is value is value of 1 is greater than equal to a capital letter a i'm just trying to check the capital letter a and okay so i'm just trying to check if input value of 1 is greater than z okay it is checking and message it's a enter number is a capital letter the number is a small letter enter number is an input so this is the complete thing okay str len it will check for the length input value is equal to one so i have to give only one input value because i have given the length as one okay i should enter only one and then if input value is greater than or equal to a okay so it is checking for the capital letter if i have entered the capital letters then it will display me it is a capital letter if i am uh, uh, if the value is small letter then it will display me it's small letter if it is greater than zero and if it is less than nine then it will okay like here i don't want to check this okay if it is greater than zero then it will tell that this is a number and this is enter enter number is a number else it will print a special character it's just to show you like i can use a special character here okay to find the length of the value because i don't want the user to enter more than one character so here i think we don't want to use this so there is another way also to use that so as of now we don't want to use this just save this and we let us execute this to see like how it is working okay i'm just trying to execute it so let us open let us open this let it open so this is what like if you go to my channel here you can find the built-in functions okay so this is a today's exercise and here you can find the list of function as well okay i have already discussed about all these functions here please go and watch this and i have used all the uh, uh, uh functions like uh, string functions okay you can go and check that as well so please go and watch this so that you will get some more clarity about how to use these functions in a better way okay so uh, yes i'm just waiting for this to execute okay so here you can see i have to enter a value so if i'm giving one okay it is showing it you have entered a number if i'm entering a capital a it will show me that it's a capital number if i'm uh, typing a small j it will show me that it is a small letter and if i'm entering ampersand it will tell me that it is a special character okay this is some simply to understand that what type of data we are just entering in the so here i have used the length why i have used the length because to check whether i'm entering the user is entering only one character okay length so this is how you can use it so other than this we have um, a few more uh, functions as well as i told you can also make use of this that if you wanted to use that it is very simple if you wanted to make it as lower case okay or if you wanted to make it as an upper case for example my okay so if you wanted to make it as an uppercase you can also make it so directly even in the message if you wanted to display the um, um, functions like anything str len okay so you can also use that functions here okay so any either way like uh, where you have to use it that is what that is what uh, uh, that is where you have to define understand and use that okay so you can use that accordingly wherever you wish to use that and uh, based on the scenario okay how you can use that so we'll be understanding about the clear and clear all functions okay so for example uh, see I'm, I'm i'll just show you like how you can use a format function okay so in the trigger i'm creating a local variable called uh, where my text as a text value okay and uh, i'm in i'm typing my integer as integer value okay integer okay so here you can see that i have created a text and an integer and for example if i wanted to uh, give my integer um 
colon is equal to 3. So, I am assigning a value for my integer, okay, which is 3. Okay, so you can assign the value for my integer as 3. Okay, and if you want to do uh, format it uh, like my text to a uh, integer. Okay, so my text, I'm just formatting it in the integer. So what is happening here? My text is the text type. Okay, and I'm just trying to convert this as an integer. This my text to an integer. So that is possible. What is this format function will convert the data type format function is used to convert the data type to convert the data type but while converting a data type you should be very careful because text can be converted into an integer text to integer is possible but integer to text is not possible okay to text is not uh, sorry integer to text is a possible um so uh, it depends on what type of uh, uh, what type of data you are trying to you cannot convert a you cannot convert a blob to integer okay blob is a higher value and it may have some uh, it may have some higher uh, data so while trying to convert integer to something else you should be very careful okay and uh, higher level to lower level is basically not easy or sometimes it is not possible since you have only uh, in since you have only a small type of storage it is fine but think while you just trying to change it okay so format is a built-in function which you can use it to convert the data okay this is very simple example so yes we are we are in the end of day 13 and uh, tomorrow that is day 14 we are planning to learn about the procedures like previously we these this is also a procedure okay format is also a procedure but it is a built-in built-in method we will be creating a custom procedure. We will be writing, we will be creating our own function where I will be telling you like what, uh, what is a function and why do we need the function, everything. Okay. So, I will be creating, I am in the process of creating the complete documentation for all the days and those documentation and the tutorial um, uh, 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 and the material will be, uh, will be shared with the members. So, if you want to join as a member, so I request you to kindly click here to join as a member to get access to the PDF, mind maps, exclusive perks and everything. So, all these documents will be transferred will be shared after completing all the 21 days day 21 and then you have to complete the basic exercises as well in order to gain the access okay so yes the if uh, the specific exercise though these are the basic exercise which you wanted to do that is you have to learn the built-in function from uh, from my playlist that is one or two uh, that is one or two video and also the list functions apart from this i'll be adding few more exercises in my blog please go and watch that thank you take care and bye bye